What's up guys, here is Rolt. Samsung is in full power unveiling the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus and S21 Ultra in the unpacked event on 14th of January. As we know pretty well, Samsung sells two variants of its flagship depending on the country. They sell Snapdragon variant for the country like US China and Exynos variant in India. Snapdragon variant has been way better than the Exynos variant from the beginning. But it seems that this continuation will not be retained anymore. It has been a rumor for a longer that Samsung is gonna introduce their next flagship chipset called Exynos 2100. Exynos 2100 is said to have outperformed Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. In the recent time, Qualcomm has introduced Snapdragon 888. Snapdragon 888 is also based on 5 nanometer process same as Apple A4 in Bionic. CPU is 25% and GPU is 35% more powerful than its predecessor Snapdragon 865. The Snapdragon 888 SoC scored 1135 in the single core and 3794 in the multi core. A couple of days ago, Qualcomm has revealed Antutu benchmark score of Snapdragon 888, that is around 735,000. No suspect, Snapdragon 888 is by far the best chip in a mobile phone. If you are gonna get a Snapdragon variant with the Galaxy S21 lineup, you should be glad. But you need to be more glad if you are from the country like India. The reason, as per the leaks, we have been hearing the Exynos 2100 will outperform the Snapdragon 888. If I'm not wrong, this is for the first time any other mobile phone chip is gonna beat Qualcomm chip in Android category. Samsung is pretty much confident for their upcoming Exynos 2100 chip. They have posted a teaser video that Exynos is back. The Exynos 2100 will be introduced on 12th of January, two days before Unpacked 2021. Samsung's strategy is up to the mark. They don't wanna bore their fans by revealing Exynos 2100 two days before Unpacked. First up, we will get to know the specification of Exynos 2100. Just after two days, we will get to know Exynos 2100 power phone, the Galaxy S21 lineup. Ice Universe claimed Exynos 2100 is getting closer and closer to 4000 points multi-core score. Here is side-by-side -side comparison of Snapdragon 888 versus Exynos 2100. In terms of multi-core score, Exynos is easily beating the Snapdragon. There is a big gap of 200 between Exynos and Snapdragon. Not only getting this chipset to the Galaxy S21 lineup, but also there are a plenty of features what make the Galaxy S21 lineup different from all the smartphones. Review video, hands-on video, everything has been leaked of Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. According to the Galaxy Club and 91 Mobiles, the Galaxy S21 will start at 849 euros. The Galaxy S21 Plus will start at 1049 euros. And the big one, Galaxy S21 Ultra, will start at 1399 euros. The Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus is a little bit cheaper than the Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus. But when it comes to the Ultra model, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is 15 euros more expensive than the predecessor, the Galaxy S20 Ultra. I don't know why they bent on increasing the cost whereas this would decrease. But you also have to keep in mind the Galaxy S21 Ultra is going to be that kind of smartphone what you may have never seen before. Do a comment what's your opinion about the Galaxy S21 lineup. If you love the universe of tech you should consider subscribing to Roll Geon it would be lofty to me. A great thank you for watching the video I will see you in the next one and now I wanna wind up the video.